going on out there, YouTube? This is SEL0320. Alicia here, representing JVS. We're back again for another review for Jessica Jones. This is episode two and part of the second season of Jessica Jones. And the second episode was pretty interesting, man. And the title of this episode, I don't know what it is, but it should be Trish Does Too much. much. Yeah. I completely agree. The with whole, I mean, that's, all, that's, that's my critique. Not even critique. That's my thoughts of the episode. The whole episode, Trish, Trish did too much. She did too much. And now somebody dead. <laughs> because Trish does, does too, too much. much. I completely agree with her. Um, it's like Jessica, this whole episode, she was trying to figure out, you know, putting the pieces together. And all throughout the time, it keeps on going back to Trish. And so she's trying to connect with Trish, trying to call Trish. Trish ain't answering her phone. Like, since the last episode, she's been trying to get with Trish. And so eventually she's like, okay, Trish is the eventual connection. Even her boyfriend is like, I can't get up with her either. And so it all goes down the third all act. It goes down. Um, and you find out who's following Trish. You find out what is happening. But you still don't know... You know who's the person pulling all the strings? Yeah, who is this new villain that just jumps over things? I thought that was like the creature that has been created. I know, but who is he, and what is his purpose? I don't know, but he is super strong. He is super strong. I think the most interesting thing is when Weezer was saying to in the video that Jessica found in his house uh, is that with great power comes great mental illness. And I think that that's a really interesting factor because we had, we had thought from the first season that the real problem with Jessica mentally emotional is because of Kilgrave. But it goes deeper than that because yeah. of what happened with her family. Yeah. And then at the same time, now we're getting an understanding that that also plays a role into her power. So is it the more she uses her powers, the more you know mentally she starts to break down? And we've seen that. We've seen her unravel. Yeah. That's the other thing. Jessica, she's just not making wise choices. Mm. She, she's going through it, man. And I, I, I get it because she said to, she, I think she said to Jessica and um, Trish in the first episode, it's like, the more, you know, I go back, the worse I might become. And I think that she's at this straight medium where she needs to really get revelation of what happened. But at what expense? Because yeah. she's so strong. Like I was worried that she was gonna like kill somebody, thinking that you know somebody hurt Trish. So um, then Malcolm, I don't know where Malcolm went in the third act, but Malcolm's dating somebody. First off, where is Malcolm right now? When Trish was being attacked, did Malcolm just leave? Did he just he go? Well, he he knocked out the abuser Maxine, which Maximilian. I, man, that's some messed up stuff. But he punched him out of emotion. And then I don't know where he went. He left. I don't know where he went, but um, but he's got some kind of side chick, and she she's got, got some a side in. chick. If you don't have no woman, you only have a side chick. You have a man. I mean, chick. but Jessica is a woman. Jessica's not his woman. I mean, they ain't together, but he's like so devoted to her. Woman. Whatever. That's the way I look at it. But um, she's got some kind of random Egyptian tattoos on her back. Um, I'm trying to think. She has musical notes on her back. No, there's an Egyptian symbol that's like an Egyptian eye, and then there's music symbols around it, and then there's other okay, things around it. Okay, you put your anyway. into this random woman. They didn't even show her face, so she's random. But that's what I'm saying. There has to be a reason why they show her <coughs> tattoos first before they show her face. Anywho, either way, we have no idea who this person is. Yeah. Um, And I'm still wondering who is behind all of this. So it was a pretty good episode. I give it, just like the first episode, 8.5, maybe 8 out of 10. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued. It hasn't like pushed me down one way or another. So let's see where it goes. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. I will be back for a third episode. Peace.